Number machines and graphs. Now this question is designed to test students' understanding of the connection between number algebra and graphic forms of representing a problem. Now that's a long-winded long -winded way of saying you've got different forms of how a problem is represented. So here we have a number machine where your input is times by 5 and then you take away 6 to get your output. So what the first question, what is the output when the input is minus 3? So we're putting in minus 3, we times by 5 we get minus 15 we take away 6 we get minus 21 for one mark. Here's a graph of y equals 5x minus 6 just a small part of it. Find the input value for the number machine that gives the same output value. So now there's, there's a you could do this a long winded way which is just to look along the line to see whether your input and output are the same value until you get one that works so if you get up to here, where the, the you got a value of 2, um, that gives you a value of 3 points, something that's too big, possibly, so come down here. And we keep looking around till we find one. Or we can be a little bit smart about these things and use a straight line to help us. If we plot on here a line where the x and y values are the same, I don't know why it's done that, let's just undo that. So if I start from 0, 0, Go through 1, 1, and 2, 2, which is there, I believe, no, there, and let that drop down. Then we can see that these two lines cross at this point here, which I believe is going to, done that again, is going to be the point here, which is 1.5. So you should get the value 1.5. So if we just check, if we put 1.5 in times by 5, we get 7.5. Take away 6, that gives us 1.5. So that works.